Celtics and Pacers game four and is it all over for Indiana tonight? The Pacers ran extremely hot on two pointers for most of game three while the Celtics pretty much sleepwalked for most of it. For most teams that would spell doom but the Celtics flipped a switch late in the third quarter and ultimately won by three points. I think we see a little more urgency from the Celtics and I fear that the Pacers may feel defeated now that they're down three nothing. The Pacers have choked two games now in the series but we've seen that the Celtics are the better team, even when they don't play their best. Additionally, this spread makes some sense for an analytical perspective, as the Pacers simply aren't getting up enough threes without Halliburton to beat the Celtics squad. The Celtics had a 49% three-point attempt rate versus the Pacers' 21% three-point attempt rate in Game 3. The Celtics didn't even shoot that well, converting on just 16 of 43 of their looks, but that still equated to 12 more threes than the Pacers made, 4 of 20. The Pacers can't keep up with the Celtics team unless they shoot 70 to 80 percent on all their twos, and we saw that wasn't sustainable for the entirety of the last game. You got to trust the Celtics here to cover the seven and a half spread and finish off this series. My play here, I got to go Boston minus seven and a half as the one and only play in this game. But what say you? What are you liking? What are you hating? What are you tailing? What are you fading? Let me know in the comment section. New to the channel? Consider subscribing for more picks and plays daily, as well as press conferences each and every day. Get back. Get that cash. Good luck. This is Trending Rabbit.